and inflation. Joining me now is James Camp. He's Managing Director of Strategic Income at Eagle Asset Management. James, it's great to have you. I mean, do you welcome these kinds of, let's call them quote unquote opportunities, or are you getting more nervous about just how much the Fed might be hiking here? No, Kelly, it's actually, uh, it's, it's quite an exciting period to, to look at this kind of volatility in, in the treasury market and, and the outflows from the mutual fund passive complex. It, as we speak, you know, we're looking on a Friday afternoon at offerings in municipal finance that were cheaper than they were just a couple of days ago. You know, we're, we're going through the first quarter with the worst quarter we've had since 1994. And there's a lot of trepidation in the clients and advisors that I talk to, especially because if, if you remember, Kelly, most of the municipal investors, they're baby boomers. They're, they're of that 60, 65 demographic. They remember 1979. They remember gas prices. And there's sure. an extrapolation that's going on and a little bit of concern. But we can calm those fears down and, and look for opportunities. Although, you know, it's funny, if you go back to the, the turn of the year, there was some pressure on muni bonds, but it didn't seem like that big of a deal. Now, when we have people casually talking about hiking by half a point or a full point or four half point rate hikes, or we're going to 3%, I mean, the muni space, the entire space has to reprice for that. Across the entire spectrum of fixed income instruments. Look, yeah. This is a, a different conversation, but the Fed has to do a catch up here. They have to do it for the inflation reasons, which are more menacing than they believed. They have to do it for political reasons. This is a regressive tax uh, on most American consumers. And they may be a bit behind. We can argue back and forth whether that's the case, but they are going to be aggressive. They're going to be front loaded and they're probably going to be a couple of hikes. Now, most of the curve that we invest in has already moved. So there are very, very good opportunities, but we are at probably maximum levels of unsettledness, if you will, in the individual investor space. Maximum unsettledness. And yet we thought we might have been there a couple weeks ago or a month ago. We really haven't seen this bad bond performance in a long time. So can you be sort of opportunistic if I'm you know, an owner, a holder of muni bonds, are there areas where I can go, okay, on a five or 10 or 30 year horizon, I can feel comfortable with the yields they're offering me? Yeah, I think Kelly, you have to look at the form of which you own the asset. If you own the asset in real bond form and you have a financial plan and an asset allocation, you absolutely should be legging into these levels. As you mentioned at the top, in our, in our multi-asset class income strategies, We've been underweight the fixed income area. We have underperformed the broad equity income space in municipal finance. And as we look at that performance disparity, we start to readjust. So this is an opportunity for us to reallocate. We're looking very much at that 10 to 15 year municipal area where yield ratios are even more generous in nominal terms uh, to the treasury rate. And we're, we're getting the tax benefits for free. So right. yes, it's coming our way. And you have, these are kind of specific, but muni investors will totally know what you mean. You like service revenue bonds, water, sewer, electric. Um, you like you know, local geos, general obligation bonds and higher population growth areas, Texas, Florida, Colorado. I think the strong housing market is a tailwind. What other details would you add for people who are looking for opportunities? Well, I think you hit the highlights there, but I would also just remind people that post COVID in a, in a kind of irony, the municipal finance market, municipal credit is actually in better shape, both from buoyed equity markets and some of the pension areas that had some trouble, obviously the housing market, which you've spoken about, uh, revenues and migration patterns all matter. But when we have a discernible revenue stream, when we know the issuer, we know the financials, this is not a municipal market that's struggling because of credit. It's a municipal market that's struggling because of rate moves and flow of funds. And both of those we think will settle out pretty significantly in the back half of 2022. And finally, you said you're looking in the 10 to 15 year horizon. Yeah, and what we do there, Kelly, because those relative values are so cheap on a relative basis, because there's there's very few people willing to take that duration risk, if you will, we offset that kind of in a barbell fashion, if you will, with some shorter term in the portfolio to an aggregate, give us an intermediate term uh, sort of exposure, but not put us in that, that belly of the curve, which is most vulnerable, we think, right now to rate moves. All right. Again, these are dicey times for all fixed income investors, um, uni investors especially. James, great to have you. Thanks so much. Kelly, thank you. James Camp with Eagle Asset Management. Market alert for you as we continue to watch the price of oil move higher. Baker Hughes reporting just now that U.S. energy firms added oil and nat gas rigs for the record 20th month in a row. The oil and gas rig count, it's an early gauge of future output, just rose to the highest level since March of 2020. That was the pandemic bottom, of course. WTI crude around $112 a barrel today and nat gas up around $550 per million BTUs. 
Coming up, the spring housing season off to a disappointing start as rates climb. We'll get an important update on mortgage rates as the 10-year sits near 2.5% today and the housing-related stocks getting crushed this week. This name, the worst performer in the iShares Home Construction ETF, the ITV, down about 4%. We'll reveal it next on The Exchange. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM-insured Muni Bonds. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 